Hello, fellow contractors. If you did not watch last week's tip of the week, I encourage you to do so. Last week, we cleaned this particular project with our Quickie Paver Cleaner, and I am beyond thrilled with the way it came out. How amazing. This week, you're gonna see exactly how it is that we're gonna use our Quickie Paver Protectant to make sure this job has tremendous longevity. Our patio is now clean. We're ready to move into the Easy Protect technology using our Quickie Paver Protectant. It's really a two-step process. You're gonna stir it, add it to your sprayer, and then apply it. But before we apply it, we wanna make sure we take a blower, blow the entire surface off to get any dirt, debris, any fines off of it. And the other thing I have here is I have a roller. If we do on, say, a non-porous product, say your wet cast product, your natural stones, they're not gonna have the same absorption rate as a paver. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure on those surfaces, you take a roller and back blade out of it. And if you also get it too heavy in an area and it doesn't absorb, same thing. And some of your uh, embossed pavers that have texture to it, again, use that roller, back blade. We don't want any bubbles in here. That's why we require stirring and not shaking. You notice here I have cardboard. So when I am pouring it in, if I do get a spill, it's gonna capture that. However, I could do it on the pavers. As long as I have my roller here, if I do get a puddle, I can use my roller to just back roll and uh, spread that out. Couple more points I wanna add. This does 300 square feet per gallon. So you can do your math ahead of time. Another thing you're gonna want, less than 50 PSI of pressure when you are applying. You don't want it too high a pressure, it's gonna uh, create bubbles and put more of that product in the air. So you'll notice I have some cardboard. One thing that is crucial, you're gonna to wanna to be careful. Protect any windows, siding. I did bring some cardboard with me. I'll just have somebody work with me and we'll hold this up off the base just a little bit so we don't get it on the siding nor on the windows. So why Pave Tools Quickie Paver Protectant? Number one reason, it has easy protect technology built into it, so it makes it foolproof. Super easy to install. It's environmentally friendly, so you don't have to worry about damaging the environment or products around you. Number two, it is a protectant. It is not a sealer. Stop using sealers on our hardscape projects. Last thing we want is to seal that moisture within the product. It's gonna trap efflorescence, dirt and debris. We need the product to breathe for longevity of life. Number three, it's gonna deter moss, mildew, and dirt from impregnated into the pores, which is gonna, again, just breed and just make a mess of your product and get that black and ugly staining over time. Number four, it has a stain deterrent in it. So that's gonna protect it against, say, leaves, say your mustard, your ketchup, your wine stains, like that. It buys the homeowner time, so that it gives them a chance to get that product cleaned off of their pavers before it does leave a stain. And lastly, most importantly, it's gonna keep your project looking new for life. What a great opportunity to be able to use our product on this job site. And just the results have been amazing. Being able to put the protectant on, knowing that it's gonna build longevity into this job site, protect it down the road from all the dirt, the debris, the moss, the mildew, having it protected from stains and whatnot. Homeowner's gonna be thrilled. The Easy Protect technology makes it so simple to apply. You don't have that fear of what's gonna happen if I do something wrong, if I apply it wrong. 
So just that peace of mind and being able to go out to a job site, knowing you're gonna be able to succeed first shot is, is amazing to us. And hopefully you find this tip of the week super helpful. I wanna make sure that if you did not watch the one on the cleaning process, make sure to go back and look at that video. But thanks again. Make sure to go on our website, sign up there for our tip of the week. You can also check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Thank you for watching.